Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about data structures and we are going to um, cover the basics. So we're not going to go um, into more advanced ways of defining data structures. We're going to keep it simple. Um, so therefore we're going to use the, the, the lesson will be mostly centered around pairs. Um, so data structures that can hold two things and lists data structures that can uh, hold an arbitrary number of things. Uh, the, the Racket programming language actually offers more advanced uh, forms of data structures or, or of defining data structures and that will be covered at the end or in, in a, a future lesson. And we will also explore how to define data structures just by using uh, lists in this module. Uh, sorry, just by using function declarations in this module. So for now, uh, let us just discuss a bit how I'm going to present uh, our data structures. I'm going to use uh, something called constructors and another thing called accessors. And constructors are what we use, so these are going to be functions um, that are called to create a value of that data structure. So to create one instance of that data structure. Um, and there are multiple ways. You can think of anything that would, in your favorite programming language to such as Java or Python where you mutate things like you have a set value or set something so anything that kind of changes the internal state of the data structure that is also considered a constructor but things that just read the contents of a data structure those will be your accessors okay uh, they're also known as selectors actually um, and just uh, a reminder I am using test driven in this course uh, quite heavily or relying uh, heavily upon this. Not going to go into a lot of detail about the test driven development methodology, but if you're curious, it's it's this idea where you should uh, create tests even before you develop code and your development is guided around these tests that are describing this story of what you want to want to do. Um, yeah, so in our next video, we're going to cover pairs.